Hey everyone, this is an overview of my current project. I'm building an R6 astromech droid. The droid I'm working on now is called R6T3X and it's an ex-imperial droid. I've been asked why I chose to build an R6 droid as opposed to R2-D2. The whole story is on my website, myastromech.com, linked to below. The short answer though is that I wanted to build a droid that hasn't already been done a whole bunch of times. And also one that gives me flexibility in its design. I do hope to build an R2-D2 as well at some point, but when I do I'll have to really stay on point as far as accuracy goes. There's a lot of R2 reference material out there, and there's a lot of fans that'll call me out if I'm not faithful to the original. I also need to point out that I'm a member of the R2 Builders Club, and I'll be using club specs and blueprints whenever it's appropriate on this build. Okay, back to the R6. For this project, I'm going to be using a few different building materials. I'll be using plywood, aluminum, composites, plastics. I'll be using my 3D printers for some of the parts, and I'll even dive into the electronics when it comes to the control systems. The droid will feature a composite body and dome. The body will be built using skins pulled from a mold which has produced roughly 100 sets of skins for Astromex, including some that have been used at Disney World. The legs will be laminated Baltic birch with 3D printed details, and the feet may be aluminum or composites. Body details will be a mixture of aluminum and 3D printed parts. I'll be building a custom radio control system built on Arduino, and I'll have integrated sound and lights. I have not yet decided what I might include for extra features like opening panels and doors, but I'll have droid movement and dome rotation to start with. So that's this project in a nutshell. If you think you'd be interested in this, please hit the subscribe button down below. I don't know how much interest there's going to be in this, so subscribing to this channel would be the best way to keep me motivated to keep posting these videos. Now I've got to get back to work.